Good morning. A warm welcome to you from the Diocese of Blackburn in our multilingual service this morning. Psalmist David said, The life in companionship with God offers joy and benefits now and eternally. He prayed, Khudaman, tu mujhe zindagi ki rah dikhayega. Tere huzur kamil shadmani hai. Tere dahne haath mein daimi khushi hai. This morning, we will celebrate the life of Sadhu Sundar Singh. He is known as Sadhu, ascetic, holy man, an evangelist, teacher of the faith and the apostle with the bleeding feet. He preached the gospel of Jesus in mountain areas of Himalayas and Tibet and traveled in the most difficult mountain terrain. He was known for healing the sick people and teaching people through parables. He was persecuted and always miraculously was saved by Jesus. He was born in India in Sikh family in 1889. But we do not know and we do not have the exact date of his death. But he believed to have died in the foothills of Himalayas in 1929. His body was never found. He also visited England but he could not settle in the Western Church. Frederick Heiler writes that in Sundar Singh, Christianity and Hinduism meet, and Christianity stands like a flower that blossoms on an Indian stem. Sundar Singh was rooted in Christ, but related to his soil in India, and always wore the saffron robe, a holy colour of India. The Church of England has dedicated 19th of June to commemorate the life and work of Sundar Singh. His conversion story into Christian faith is a remarkable example for many believers of Christ today. In Christ, he found an unending refuge we will hear more about his conversion story during the service. Let us begin the celebration of his life with this beautiful song from Asian Christian Resources based on Psalm 61. Saranam, Saranam, Saranam. God is our rock, refuge and our shelter.
after becoming Christian confessed saying I am not worthy to follow in the steps of my Lord but like him I want no home no possessions like Jesus I will belong to the Lord to the road sharing the suffering of my people eating with those who will give me shelter and telling all men and women of the love of God let us come to Jesus, making our own confession and seeking healing and salvation. Lord, you are gracious and compassionate. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are loving to all and your mercy is over all. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Your faithful servants bless your name and speak of the glory of your kingdom. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May God who loved the world so much that he sent his son to be our savior forgive us our sins and make us holy to serve him in the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Collect, special prayer for today. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of the church is governed and sanctified, hear our prayer, which we offer all your faithful people, that in their vocation and ministry, they may serve you in holiness and truth to the glory of your name through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God now and forever Amen we are going to listen to a parable by Sadhu Sundar Singh this is the parable of Sadhu Sundar Singh and the hungry bird. He said, once as I wandered in the mountains, I came upon an outcropping of rocks and I sat on the highest rock to rest and look out over the valley. I saw a nest in the branches of a tree. The young birds in the nest were crying noisily. Then I saw how the mother bird returned with food for her young ones. When they heard her wings and felt her presence nearby, they cried all the more loudly and opened their beaks wide. But after the mother bird fed them and flew away again, they were quiet. Climbing down to look more closely, I saw that the newly hatched birds had not yet opened their eyes. Without even being able to see their mother, they opened their beaks and begged for nourishment whenever she approached. These tiny birds did not say, we will not open our beaks until we see our mother clearly and also see what kind of food she offers. Perhaps it's not our mother at all, but instead some dangerous enemy. And who knows if it's a proper nourishment or some kind of poison that is being fed to us. If they had reasoned thus, they would never have discovered the truth. Before they were even strong enough to open their eyes, they would have starved to death. But they held no such doubts about the presence and love of their mother. And so after a few days, they opened their eyes and rejoiced to see her with them. Day by day, they grew stronger and developed into the form and likeness of their mother. And soon they were able to soar up into the freedom of the skies. We humans often think of ourselves as the greatest living beings, but we do not have something to learn from these common birds. We often question the reality and the loving nature of God. But the master has said, blessed are those who have not seen and yet believe. Whenever we open our hearts to God, we receive spiritual nourishment and grow more and more into the likeness of God until we reach spiritual maturity. And once we open our spiritual eyes and see God's presence, we find indescribable and unending bliss. Let us hear the conversion story of Sadhu Sundar Singh in a Katha form, an Indian style of religious storytelling. The story is compiled by 
Reverend Canon Dr. Arun John and composed and sung by a qualified Indian classical vocalist, Mr. Peter John. साधु सुंदर सिंह एक यशु भक्त थे वह एक सिख परिवार से थे माता पिता की साध्विक प्रवृत्ति का सुंदर सिंह के जीवन पर गहरा असर पड़ा फलस्वरूप सुंदर सिंह ने धार्मिक प्रवृत्ति को घर दिया उनके माता पिता ने यशु भक्ति को गहराई से पढ़ा वह चाहते थे कि उनका पुत्र एक दिन पवित्र साधु बने परंतु सुंदर सिंह यीशु क्रिस्त को ग्रहण करने में मानसिक संघर्ष करते रहे सुंदर सिंह एक बड़े विचारशील व धार्मिक प्रवृत्ति के इंसान थे वे हमेशा सत्य और जीवन की वास्तविकता की खोज में लगे रहे और अंत में जीवन के काफी कटु अनुभवों के बाद एक चमत्कार के रूप में प्रभु क्रिस्त के दर्शन को अनुभव किया प्रस्तुत है रेवरेंट अरुण जॉन द्वारा रचित साधु सुंदर सिंह की बाल्यकाल से लेकर हृदय परिवर्तन तक की एक संक्षिप्त लीला का वर्णन साधु सुंदर सिंह एक सिख खानदान में पैदा हुए उनके पिता एक अमीर जमींदार थे वह पटियाला राज्य के रामपुर ग्राम के निवासी थे उनका जन्म 3 सितंबर अठारह में हुआ माता ति भक्तन पिता श्रद्धालु माता ति भक्तन पिता श्रद्धालु 
ವಾಸತ ಸುಂದರ ಹೃದಯ ಕೃಪಾಲು ಮಾತಾ ತಿ ಭಕ್ತನ ಪಿತ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾಲು ಅತಿ ಪ್ರಭಾವಿತ ಮಾತೃ ಸ್ನೇಹೆ ರಾಹತಿ ಪಾಯಿ ಮಾತೃ ಜೀವನ್ ಸುಂದರ ಸಾಧು ಸಾಧು ಸುಂದರ ಜಿ ಕಿ ಮಾತಾ ನೇ ಉನ್ನ ಯ ಸಿಖಾಯಾ ಕಿ ವಹ ಆತ್ಮ ಕಿ ಶಾಂತಿ ಕಿ ಖೋಜ ಮೇ ರಹೆ ಧರ್ಮ ಸೆ ಪ್ರೇಮ ಕರೆ ಔರ ಎಕ ದಿನ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಸಾಧು ಬನೆ ದರ್ಶನ ಕೋ ಪಾನೆ ಶಾಂತಿ ಔರ ಪ್ರಭು ದರ್ಶನ ಕೋ ಆನಂದ ಔರ ಸುಖ ಆನಂದ ಔರ ಸುಖ ಪಾಯೆ ವಹಿ ಹೈ ಮನ ದರ ಧೀರ ಪ್ರಭು ದರ್ಶನ ಕೋ ಮನ ದರ ಧೀರ ಪ್ರಭು ದರ್ಶನ ಕೋ ಸುಂದಲೋ 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 ರೇ ಸುಂದಲೋ 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 ರೇ ಸುಂದಲೋ 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 ಲೀಲಾ ಸುಂದರ ಸಾಧು ಕಿ ಲೀಲಾ ಸುಂದರ ಸಾಧು ಭಿಲಾಶಾ ಮೋಹ ಎ ಮಾಯಾ ಛೋಡ ಭಿಲಾಶಾ ಮೋಹ ಎ ಮಾಯಾ ಮಾತಾ ನೇ ಥಾ ಉನ್ ಸಮಝಾಯಾ ಮಾತಾ ನೇ ಥಾ ಉನ್ ಸಮಝಾಯಾ ದೇಯ ಗ್ಯಾನ ಮಾತಾ ಜಿಸಿದಾರಿ ಬಾಲಕ ಸುಂದರ ಭೈಸಿ ಧಾಯಿ ಬಾಲಕ ಸುಂದರ ಭೈಸಿ ಧಾಯಿ ಸುನ್ಲೋ 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 ರೇ ಸುನ್ಲೋ 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 ರೇ ಲೀಲಾ ಸುಂದರ ಸಾಧು ಕಿ ಲೀಲಾ ಸುಂದರ ಸಾಧು साधु सुंदर जी बहुत ज्ञानी बालक थे सात साल की उम्र में ही उन्होंने भगवत गीता का अध्ययन किया बालक सुंदर अति गुणवानी धर्म ज्ञान में अति विद्वानी धर्म ज्ञान ಅತಿ ವಿದ್ವಾನಿ ಜಾನತ್ ನಾಹಿ ಕೋನ್ ಮಸಿಹ ಜಾನತ್ ನಾಹಿ ಕೋನ್ ಮಸಿ 
साधु सुंदर सिंह बचपन से ही प्रचलित धार्मिक ग्रंथों का अध्ययन करते हुए आंतरिक रूप से असंतुष्ट होने लगे क्योंकि उन्हें सत्य का अनुभव उनमें नहीं मिला और इसी बीच उन्हें एक मिशन स्कूल में भेजा जहां उन्होंने वह घोर अपराध किया जिसे वह अपने पूरे जीवन भर नहीं भुला पाए उनसे नया नियम पढ़ने के लिए कहा गया उन्होंने इसे पढ़ने से इनकार ही नहीं बल्कि उसे फाड़ दिया और जला दिया पिता उनके इस व्यवहार से काफी दुखी हुए पिता श्री अति क्रोधित भावे पिता श्री अति क्रोधित भावे निरादर प्रभु का न मन को भावे पिता श्री अति क्रोधित भावे ना कर स्वीकार पर तू धर्म को ना कर स्वीकार पर तू धर्म को ना कर निरादर पर तू धर्म को ना कर निरादर पर तू धर्म को सुन लो सुन लो सुन लो सुन लो सुन लो रे सुन लो सुन लो सुन लो सुन लो सुन लो रे लीला सुंदर साधु की लीला सुंदर साधु साधु सुंदर सिंह लगातार शांति और सत्य की खोज में लगे रहे लेकिन उन्हें कहीं शांति नहीं मिली अशांत आत्मा विचरित मनन चित बोध कल है मन अति पीड़ित अशांत जीवन कौन सुधी ले जन विकार भ्रमण साधु सुंदर सिंह ने अपने धर्म ग्रंथ को पंक्ति बा पंक्ति पढ़ा उन्हें कंटस्थ भी किया लेकिन सिवाय असंतुष्टि और अशांति के उन्हें कुछ ना मिला अचानक उनके मन में ये विचार आया कि क्यों ना मैं कम से कम 
उस नए नियम को भी पढ़कर देखूं जिसे मैंने धिक्कार दिया था जब उन्होंने उसे उठाया तो उसमें उन्होंने पढ़ा ऐ परिश्रम करने वालों और बोझ से दबे हुए लोगों मेरे पास आओ मैं तुम्हें विश्राम दूंगा इन शब्दों ने उन्हें जकड़ लिया पाया सुंदर ने क्रिस्त दर्शन पाया सुंदर ने क्रिस्त दर्शन क्रिस्त दुख परोपकार जनन क्रिस्त दुख परोपकार जनन क्रूस क्रिस्त ही सत्य दर्शन सुंदर क्रिस्त ही सत्य मनन दर्शन सुंदर कृष्ण की सत्य मनन सुंदर कृष्ण की सत्य मन सुंदर कृष्ण की सत्य मन सुंदर कृष्ण ही सत्य मन साधु जी की मन की अशांति इतनी बढ़ गई कि एक रात उन्होंने निश्चय किया कि वो अपने जीवन को समाप्त कर देंगे उस ट्रेन से जो लुधियाना एक्सप्रेस कहलाती थी और पिता के बगीचे के पास से होकर जाती थी हिंदू धर्म के अनुसार उन्होंने स्नान किया और नए नियम को पढ़ने और प्रार्थना में लीन हो गए सुबह होने से पहले उन्होंने महसूस किया कि उनका कमरा बादल जैसे धुएं से भरा है और इसी धुएं में उन्हें एक चमकीला चेहरा प्रभु क्रिस्त का दिखाई दिया और जब साधु जी ने उन्हें देखा तो प्रभु क्रिस्त उन्हें यह कहते सुनाई दिए सुंदर तुम मेरे विरोधी क्यों हो मैं तुम्हारा उद्धार करता हूं मैंने तुम्हारे लिए क्रूस पर अपनी जान दी और इन्हीं शब्दों ने साधु सुंदर सिंह का हृदय परिवर्तित कर दिया क्षमायाचना हे प्रभु मेरे तुम ही उधारक तुम गुरु मेरे हाथ पतित पवित्र इन्हें प्रभु मेरे अ नेक्स्ट हिम इज अ ग्रेट इनकरेजमेंट हाउ लवली ऑन द माउंटेन्स आर द फीट ऑफ हिम और हर हु ब्रिंग्स गुड न्यूज गुड न्यूज अनाउंसिंग पीस प्रोक्लेमिंग न्यूज ऑफ हैप्पीनेस एज वी लिसन एंड सिंग दिस हिम we give thanks to god for all those who bring and share the good news of hope the good news of jesus
Life Intercessions are led by David Lloyd. At the end of each prayer, I will say, Jesus, Lord of the Church, and you respond with, in your mercy, hear us. So, let us pray. We pray that Christ may be seen in the life of the Church. Jesus, Lord of the Church, in your mercy, hear us. You have called us into the family of those who are the children of God. May our love for our brothers and sisters be strengthened by your grace. Jesus, Lord of the Church, in your mercy, hear us. You have called us to be a temple where the Holy Spirit can dwell. Give us clean hands and a pure hearts so that our lives will reflect your holiness. Jesus, Lord of the Church, in your mercy, hear us. You have called us to be a light to the world so that those in darkness come to you. May our lives shine as a witness to the saving grace you have given for all. Jesus, Lord of the Church, in your mercy, hear us. You have called us to be members of your body, so that when one suffers, all suffer together. We ask for your comfort and healing power to bring hope to those in distress. Jesus, Lord of the Church, in your mercy, hear us. You have called us to be the bride, where you, Lord, are the bridegroom. Prepare us for the wedding feast, where we will be united with you forever. Jesus, Lord of the Church, hear our prayer and make us one in heart and mind to serve you with joy forever. Amen. We conclude our prayers with the Lord's Prayer. You are welcome to join in whichever version or language you are familiar with. I'm going to say the Lord's Prayer in Urdu. Ay hamare baap, tu jo aasman par hai, tera naam paak mana jaye, teri baad shahi aaye, teri marzi jaisi aasman par puri hoti hai, zameen par bhi ho, hamari roz ki roti aaj hume de, jis tarah hum apne karz daran ko muaf karte hain, tu bhi hamare karz hume muaf kar. हमें आजमाइश में न ला बल्कि बुराई से बचा क्योंकि बादशाही और कुदरत और जलाल हमेशा तेरे ही हैं आमैन आई फाइनल सॉन्ग इज बिलीव टू बी सुंदर सिंग्स वन ऑफ फेवरेट सॉन्ग्स आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू फॉलो चीजर्स नो टर्निंग बैक नो टर्निंग बैक एज वे सिंग इट we dedicate ourselves and commit to follow jesus there is never too late to follow jesus Do 
I share the blessing. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor everyone. Love and serve the Lord. Rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and with your loved ones today and always. Amen. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, O Lord, that we may be ambassadors for Christ and messengers of your reconciling love. Amen. Thank you for joining us in this service. We look forward to seeing you in our next service on the 1st of August. Remain blessed and be assured that God is good all the time. All the time God is good. Thank you. Khuda Hafiz.